banana peel. <laughs> well, speaking of good trash, uh, I think it's about time that we move Grant over to the war room. Yeah, I yeah. think we got a draft coming. All so right. Get your trashy ass out of my uh, <laughs> my desk here. And uh, fantastic. <laughs> Woo. That See you later. All right. Grant needs to calm down. What you is know, wrong he's a you? savage animal today. I don't know what his <laughs> deal is. Put him in the war room and break him a little bit, I All say. All right, tell me some bands. I think I see Night Stalker. <clears throat> no. Undying. All right, let's I talk about the mother. pick first. Beastmaster. Beastmaster picked up. Very interesting that it survived the ban phase. And Liquid gets him as well. Liquid gets Beastmaster. And that is on the Radiant side, right? It's that is yes. correct. We have so seen... Mind Control Beastmaster? Yeah, we've seen that devastation already Five here before. Remaining. And then what bans do we get? So Liquid, Liquid actually banned Lone Druid himself. Oh, Light they, Dealer really? Nightstalker. Yeah. Is that surprising to you, Scruff? Yes, yes it is. Okay. I would think Matumba Man would want to play it, but yeah. Uh, and we see Winter Wyvern Winter Earth Wyvern. coming out for Navi. Mm. Looking pretty you, good. You think, you think it's going to be aggressive, Winter Wyvern, or we'll just put him in the safe lane here? Good no. question. Maybe he even starts in the mid and do like an Arctic Baron before he rotates. Oh, right, you're nuts. We'll do it. I've actually nuts. been no, waiting. Might. Uh, I'm saying. Nah, you're might. nutty. It I depends, like it. It depends on what Liquid Ten picks up, what lanes are going to be, you know, how much help he's going to need in the middle, in the beginning. And Ur but wouldn't Earthshaker start middle if any of the sports do? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're swapping. We're putting this guy in the river. That's Earthshaker. He's going to be at the river this whole time. He's just going to be throwing out stuns, being super annoying. Wait, did Liquid Venge. actually use Ban Broodmother? They did. Their own we chill. We're still on Venge. Liquid banned Broodmother. No worries. And a uh, sniper. Scripper, are you thinking these teams are swapped up? or? <laughs> oh, that's like... what it sounds like you're saying right now. <laughs> Do I mean, you look dare at the say that Grant, there is look a. At Team Liquid's bans and tell me that doesn't look like Navi would ban that. <laughs> Not really, even the picks, right? Beastmaster, because Liquid talks about Mind Control likes playing it, but they don't think Beastmaster is good. Like, they're the one team in the world who doesn't think it's good. Production, are really you weird. sure that we have the teams on the right yeah. side here? Because this is pretty wild stuff. They they drag it directly from in game. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, we got Beast or uh, Brewmaster oh, band out as well. So, I don't know. This Liquid feels like they're art right. Beastmaster Venge? That's like super hyper aggressive cores, right? Aura like you, you have auras. You're just aura game. Did they did they ban Drow on Navi or no? Yeah, yeah. They okay, did. I was about to say if you if you give them all three of those, it's what, over. The game about over. Luna. I would legitimately seconds. not watch the game. What about Luna? It's the third aura there. No. Five seconds. Yeah. Okay, guys. Luna, sorry. Like, this uh, this I don't is. I uh, you can do Luna. The thing is, you could put like a Avenger or a Drow middle, but you can't put a Luna middle. <laughs> but what, what if you do like Avenger four? Guys, or, this is uh, that was my ban. I actually uh, did. Oh, swap. I did swap it up. So I was uh, right. I mean, it's, it doesn't change this at least, though, but you were right. Scriff killing Scriff it out there. did it. The man knows his team so much, he refused to believe. This, but now, up there. now that you did swap the drafts... <clears throat> I'm confused now. How would you, with Navi, I like the hyper-aggressiveness hyper from Navi, but, I mean, Team Liquid's the best team at dealing with this. When they played the other CIS teams, didn't they get run out by, like, an Enchantress and stuff, and they still yeah. they were fine, yep. right? Like, yep. Miracle oh. didn't care about that. Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain pick. Uh, I'm actually so depressed. I've been waiting for the Winter Wyvern Senecio for so long. Yeah, but this is okay. Like, we're getting a little crowded like in middle here. Winter we're gonna move this guy Ooh. back. DH Earthshaker. This Ooh. is gonna be good. Liquid is getting. I mean, it's good. gonna be good, but I just missed the Navi Winter Wyvern. That was good times. Yeah, but Grant, you you're on the train of Venge being a core, right? More yeah, than I, there's. Support, I right? don't think like you don't play. I don't think it's anymore. ever good support. Yeah. Okay. Last time I saw it played good support was like Ti3, honestly. Right. Wow. Fair enough. Wait, didn't Navi play it core there? Tier three. In well, I was talking about like if the last time it was played well, <laughs> yeah. support was like fluff and stuff, and right. honestly, and that's the last time he was even good. Damn, so that's what Damn Grant, Damn. take it easy today. What? I mean, what you've a, probably admitted you've it had too. too much monster today, Grant. Nick's I do love Grant. monster. Calm it down. The pink one, pipeline punch, and that's a Nick. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? At? I thought you only did nothing. Like the pepper. Oh no. yeah, we got the Matumba like, and I've been waiting for this pick. All right, so next, you. I mean, that's it's just to support Nyx at this point, right? Roaming in the river. Is that four, four or five Nyx? What? It has to be four, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, great. So. What okay? do we got? We got a Lycan. All right. Yeah, Lycan for Matumba. Oh, this is so Put exciting. Put him safe lane. Put him safe lane. I got him. Now, five Matumba six, man six, used to do. He used to say that he loved the Darkseer Lycan. That is no more. Ooh. Darkseer is all gone now. Is he? Is he? Question mark? Could we possibly see it? Well, he said that's his favorite they have thing in the game. Shaker, right? So, hmm. Wait, so what, do you, what are we talking about? Darkseer for uh, Liquid. 
That's all flame. I mean, nobody That's likes Darkseer anymore, right? Darkseer is just so slow. Pe like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkseer is the AM of offlanes. Like, you want him to be alone and just farm. And why do you want that in an offlaner? That's all he's good for. He's good at staying in a lane by himself and farming. Sure. I think he could work if you... But you have to draft your team around him. So, like, you need a like a Earth Spirit, Lycan Wolves, you know, and, yeah, and play around the Iron Shell in the early game. Yeah, and the problem is you have a Queen of Pain who's going to flash farm. Yeah. You have a Lycan who needs to farm. And then even Winter Wyvern, right? Like... Even Shaker needs to play. Yeah, Dark Seer, no room. Yeah. Slacks, sure. come on, bro. Ooh, the I Viper. He looks so sad, though. Viper, Viper? He's not sad. He's just, he's getting ready. You think... Who clipped his wings? You think it's middle, oh. Scriff? We've been seeing some safe lanes, but um, versus a I think, I think he can go both. No, wait. They already have a... Ten seconds they already have a Fenge. There's no way. It has to be middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. Five seconds no, but I think remaining? Viper is good for lane dominance now. Um, yeah, I like him. I think he's actually even better now than before. I think so, because he can actually flash farm waves. Like, before, yep. if you fell behind, yeah, all yeah, you can yeah. do is hit hero he's now. Like more, he's like an agility magic carry now or something, yeah, right? Because everything he does is magic. But he can still dominate, because, like, poison attack is so good yes. in the early game still. Even though you lose, like, that extra damage, like, you don't really need it. You just harass him out of lane, you're fine. And even later on, on level 20, when you get the poison attack affects buildings as well, you you become a pretty good pusher as well. Yeah. If uh, some a building goes below half health, Viper just does insane damage to buildings. Are we level missing? 20. Am I missing a hero? Who do you have? Wyvern, Shaker, Queen, Lycan? Did Master I put Lycan in the wrong team? Nick oh, yeah, I absolutely seconds. did. Huh. Huh? Lycan's on, on Dire, oh. isn't it? Oh. No. Yes. All right, yeah. come on, guys. What I are you think I figured about? this out. It's fine. Everything's My bad. fine. You're, you're good. Well, I was like, why do I have a Lycan Venge hey. in the same lane? That, <laughs> that does not seem right at all. PA ban. Yep. No PA coming out. I, that's interesting. Well, I guess they secured the Viper, so they could take the PA on Viper's team. PA. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. Makes a little bit of sense. I don't think they're just too worried at this point. Team Liquid has a hell of a lineup already, so... But what what is Navi looking for here in the carry? with the auras, you know, like Venge Aura goes well with stat, stats. Well, I think now, it's weird, right? Is it? It's oh, oh. okay. Hello. It's a good one. That's, need team fight. That's a team fight you need. But now, like, what's a your war bottom lane? A Warlock huh. Vengeful? Hey, I mean, Warlock right. worked yeah. last time. It was oh, great. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. They played around his ult really well. They used that kind of damage that he has Ten from the Fatal Bonds, right? and they have a lot of damage dealers on their team right now, so... Not too bad of a plan there, I don't it think. Isn't, but the thing is, like, with Venge and Viper, you have low cooldowns. Like, that's what your big thing is. You can push lanes. If the other team, like, uses Quap ulti, you don't have to worry about it. Now you have a Warlock ulti. Like, you're mixing low cooldowns with high cooldowns. Yeah, but it's the like threat it. of the Warlock ulti, you know? I guess. It's like the, the Tide Ravage saving, just running at people, never using it yeah. kind of thing. Sure. And his, his other, like, magical stuff has pretty low cooldowns, too. Fatal Bonds. Well, Fatal... Does it? Upheaval and Fatal Bonds are pretty high. I don't know. Shadow Word is pretty great. One skill? Cool. I mean, that does a lot of damage it is, no, it in the early game. The it really uh, is. I like it. Venge shouldn't ever die in this lane. They have a good kill potential, depending on who goes bottom, but... We don't know yet. Who is it gonna be? Who's self-sufficient enough to stay in, like, a lane against Vengeful of Warlock? Darkseid. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking, I'm like, there's no way. And then I was thinking, Tide. They might do something unconventional. I assume Nature's Prophet's banned out, right? Yeah, he, oh. he was last banned for All right. Smart. What about Omni? That's what I say, bro. Mm. I Omni Knight would be not great. Strong, though, and you hate him. Oh, yeah, he's terrible hero. Don't pick him in pro games, for sure. But uh... I don't Actually, Omni <coughs> Omni versus Nit. Nah, Omni's pretty bad. Yeah. Because swap, goes, swap goes through Repel, and then Nyx, too. Nyx is yeah. pretty good versus him. CK? Okay, I like that run at you so style. So it is a... Uh, what? I have to, huh. I have they to say, like, running jewel lanes on Liquid? Yeah, they feels like, where's Chaos Knight? That's a C. I have to say, for the first time in Liquid's huh. Dream League, I don't think that they've... Uh... I have no clue. What, is it going to be Earthshaker offlane and support CK? Are they pulling that out? Because there's no way CK's in the offlane, right? Well, it's too late now. See ya. Um, <laughs> I, I'm confused, yeah. I actually am mildly confused at what they, just happened. How they land this, yeah. I like this. I this like is... it, but I have no clue what, what it is. For the first time, it doesn't look like Liquid has won the draft. It seems like it go either In way. Eyes. On In our eyes. eyes. We will see. Anyway, predictions, boys. Mm. Let's make it. I, feel, I mean, Liquid just a far... I feel they honestly are a far better team right now, but not... And But it goes back to I don't, I don't like the long cooldowns on Na'Vi. I think... We're going to see them win a fight, quote me, and everyone's be like, Navi's back, Navi's won it, but then they realize they don't have cooldowns and they get run at, and CK Liquid has wins. Cool down, though. True. 
but he can also run you with just Reality Rift and Stun by itself with Echo Saber. I'm, I'm going with Liquid still, but Navi will look good early. Mm. Um, I agree with Grant. I, I agree with Grant with everything, quick, quick, quick. but I'm hoping Navi will ride the early momentum and win this game. Wow, Maybe going for Navi. Time. I'm going to go for Team Liquid. Let's go ahead and throw it over to the men that really know what's going to be going down. Our caster is on over to OD and Fog. Thank you very much, Slax. Yes, we have it. Liquid versus Na'Vi. And uh, to confirm what you guys were wondering, it is going to be Miracle playing the Chaos Knight. Where they're going to lay in, we have to see. I imagine, I mean, maybe Mind Control is playing the Quop. I guess it all depends really what Na'Vi's lanes are. Liquid might and see might see if they can get the info early and then try and react to that. But uh, what are you expecting from this? Who's who's going to go where on the map? I think it's going to be Matu mid, right? That's what I would imagine, because he's done the Lycan matchup before. He gets sacked, and they like this. Oh, they actually have oh. engagement coming out right yeah, away. Yeah, a little, little awkward. He's going to start it off. Look at the Arctic Burn slow on to Crystallize. They've got the Fisher as well, moving closer and closer. Chaos oh, Bolt from there. Miracle, and that'll be your first blood. Go in the way of Liquid. Who's going to take it? Yeah. It is going to be Matsu. So he's mid. They gave him that kill, too. So I think that's what they're trying to go for here. Like, even though he doesn't win versus a Viper, he'll be able to farm because he gets his uh, passive regen up. Sure, Nether Toxin will be able to break it later on, but. You know, and, and I guess Justin Erlen's not really that that man efficient. Yeah, and we'll see how hard they set the lane because Liquid could send someone mid to, to hang around with Matic Yeah, in that matchup if indeed that is going to well, be the pairing we get. It looks Liquid always tends to draft themselves a draft that wins late game is what I've been realizing every single time. So I think that's their 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 like thought process with the CK pick that you look at Navi's lineup and they cannot really deal with Phantasm later on. Sure, they have Fatal Bonds and stuff, but they don't have any of these like big the AOE like spells, begins. right? It's just Fatal Bonds, and like, I guess you could say Nether Toxins and AoE spell and like Impale, but those aren't, you know, that's not what I'm talking about here. It's like these big damaging spells that work with Fatal Bonds well. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's what Liquid's going for here. Just oh, for that straight lake. Did you see that as well? Liquid, take all four bounty runes. They got all four? Wait, how? I think Na'Vi oh, was my control terrified. Skilled, oh, my control skilled Blink. He did as well, yeah. All right, so I was like, how did he get it so quickly? But yeah, Na'Vi couldn't get to any of the runes. Okay. That's something. I've never seen that before. Getting all four bounties. It's a great start for them. And it looks like Navi's trying to go for an aggro tri lane here to try to punish this, but... I mean, how aggro can it be? That's the question, because GH, he's eyeing them up. He's moving in. They've got the Arctic Burn slow. Kuroki trying to get it onto all three targets. And he gets it onto the couple. There's a heal onto Crystallize. Crystallize will be fine. But uh, it's it's going to be a challenge, I feel, for this tri lane to, to get something done. Unless they're able to, say, get GH, because a lot of the time, the Fishers, the stuns from CK, Liquid have the chance to turn it around and focus the target now. I think this is a scary, like, yeah. this is a scary defensive tri lane. If you get out of position whenever they have the Arctic burn up, you're very at risk of dying on the Warlock and the yep. Nyx Assassin. I don't really think Navi has too much kill potential unless they catch one of those supports on the side there. Killing Miracle is a very mighty task. They don't have great damage between the three heroes, Warlock, Venge, and Nyx. Fissure comes out, they find Seneco, they get a stun as well, follow up with creeps on him. Oh, good stun comes through from Roger, buying some time for Seneco with the heal. He will be fine, but pretty much uh, our worries, as, uh, as we thought, being shown here as Liquid. Just seeming to pack more of a punch here on these early levels than Na'Vi's own aggressive tri -lane. Yep. Opposing lanes, mind control. Not doing so hot versus General. 3-1 Queen of Pain CS to the 11-4 of Beastmaster seen how dominant the hero has been lately. Should be able to recover at a decent rate though once you get some levels on the Queen of Pain. And mid lane as well, like we said, the Viper should win this one pretty handedly. But under tower, Lycan can farm fine and once you get a couple levels of Feral Impulse you get that extra bonus regen and you do okay. Look at that. Still able to give Dendi, yeah, that run down. Yeah. With the amount of physical he has with the Hound. That's also because he got first blood, so he started yeah. with boots on top of his regen. We'll around. see GH doing what he tends to do. Walk toward mid, look for that block. Just completely switch up the way that the lane advantage goes. Regen wise, Dendi down to just a lone fairy fire. So this would be a great time if Dendi does come past the steps. Yeah, he's bringing out himself out of south now on the Viper, on the Courier. Yeah, and this is all, of course, under the, the watchful eyes of Na'Vi's ward. So. Dendi won't overset the mark, he'll be fine. GH realizes and returns back up to the top lane. So Navi didn't get a chance to actually block any of the pull camps in the top side, and they went for aggro. So I think it's going to be tough for them to stay in experience and uh, similarity in experience versus Liquid. If Liquid can just keep getting chain pulls off, that's where they're going to start getting a big lead versus Navi's tri lane. And Venge 
Already suffering a bit, 8 and 3 to the 13 2 of the Chaos Knight. You gotta kinda ask yourself where and where does, does this sort of move play? Because this tri lane if up top if they they can't leave the Venge alone, you know, having yeah. these lanes set out. And so it's, it's very hard for them to make any movements. And as we saw, you know, GH does he he has the freedom to move around. That yeah. top lane can suffice with just the two, Kuroki and, and Miracle at this stage. So very hard for Navi to really make any sort of moves. But as you say, the yeah, the mid lane and the bottom lane, it is good news for Navi. They are yeah. they're doing fine there. So it's gonna be more about when they group up with this massive amount of auras and this potentially very strong mid game that Navi can have. It's about to be nighttime though, and that's when the house starts really kicking in. Yeah. So that's where the tri lane becomes way stronger. And yeah, like no. you were touching on it too, is Navi's heroes, they don't really have great roamers. Liquid, they walk up in for the bounty rune. Roger actually ends up getting it here. Kuroki and GH, there's three heroes there. They gotta be a little bit careful. Stun was off the mark though from Roger. Yeah, if that connected, may have brought time for Crystallize to come in with his own magic missile. Could have got a kill. Dendi does have a haste rune. He's heading up GH this time. Here. Yeah, the stun hits and Navi. They get the kill. GH down. Quick moves from Dendi as he picks up the dream rune for that situation. And he gets himself back just in the nick of time. Not, not missing a single creep. Base taste rune. Crystallized though, definitely suffering, as we were mentioning. 13-3 CS to 24 and 4 of that Chaos Knight at the moment now. But the other two lanes, definitely Navi favored. So nighttime hits, the Howl gets amplified by double, but he didn't end up getting too many points and he wants to have that one level point of Wolves. So 1-1-3 one, th one, one, build for Matu this game coming around. Mind control. They're looking to try to set up for my control here. They've got mana burn skill too, and my control is very low on mana too. So coming up from the rear, Roger gets the mana burn off. My control is completely oom here. They're getting yeah. the body box too. Oh, they got quite enough damage with the stun. It's going to be close. GH comes in with the TP, but I tell you what, it's not in time. Mind control is done. GH should find General in response, or at least he's looking for it. Oh, General could get away. There's no points in the passive yet. In fact, General, he comes back in, mans up, starts to beat into GH. They can't quite bring the Shaker down. In fact, Roger did tank a couple of tower hits. May cost him his life. No, turns with the stun, and he gets the kill. Roger takes down GH. Kuro trying to finish him off here as he flies across the tree line, and he does manage to find it. So both teams sort of trading kills back and forth, back and forth. GH underestimating how much damage he would take. He had 10 stick charges, so he was trying to man up and get those stick charges off before that, but yeah, the stun connects and he ends up paying with his life versus Roger. But yeah, Navi looking pretty sharp right now, still not at a net worth advantage just yet because of that first blood, but the three lanes not going, not going too bad. So it's crystallized as the one who's suffering a bit, but they do that to him some t most of the time on Navi. They end up emphasizing on the other two lanes a bit more. Even though they had him in that tri lane, he he is a bit sacked. Well, they're gonna have a try for Dendi here as the front comes through Kuro. It's the slow off, GH does find the Fisher, no real sort of block. Got the Arctic Burn connection, in fact, with the walls blocking Dendi up. Looks like he should be in trouble. Nice stun, catches off two of them. It's buying more time for Dendi to get out of there, but again, this beautiful block from Matumba Man and his walls does allow them to get the kill. And he's Kuro now in trouble, but indeed Matumba Man with the ult ready to turn, looks for Suneko, Fisher block is out. Matumba Man claims the double kill. They do end up losing Kuroki to Roger as Roger continued to chase him down. But I'd say some great, great micro from Matumba Man there with the walls. There's a reason this guy's known as the best Lycan. Yeah. And that right there, those are level one wolves beautiful body blocks. That's because the skill build he went for for the 113 build, and he's queuing up the Necro book. He wants to be able to rush that one out early. Oh, Crystallize top. top. He has got the backup of Roger. One stun thrown out as the Crystallize in fact looks to turn with the magic missile. He wants to man up onto Miracle. It's going to be close. Pops the stick charges. Miracle as well with his own stick. Kuro has got enough damage to take Crystallize down. Roger does have to be careful. Miracle's still got a bit of mana to play around with, but he is very learned. In fact, oh, Roger, he turns with the stun. Again manning up, but Miracle salves and will be back up it's pretty much full, especially with the regen for the help. GH rotated bottom with my control, and they found a kill on to the Beastmaster. So that advantage that Beastmaster had in the early game is gone now. Queen of Pain actually has surpassed in the net worth, as well as the last hits plus denies. So mind control. Doing a great job in that bottom lane of recovering. And let's take a look at how the levels on the support's doing. So. Kuroki's level 5, he's only level 5 support as GH picks up a bounty and gets 5-2, so 
Liquid doing a better job of distributing their experience, yeah. as we kind of expected, because they had that safe lane tri lane in comparison to an aggro tri lane, which is a lot harder to maximize. And Dendi, of course, on, on this fight play, he's, he's at the highest in terms of Na'Vi's cores. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, the question is, what it, what is the Viper going to do this game that's, that's so good for Na'Vi? You know, they've obviously drafted it. What, what's its strength so that they can actually abuse? They want to group up with it. That's what I'm seeing. Bottom lane, oh. my control, and GH, they find Crystallize. And he is... Oh, has got the heal from Seneko. Isn't enough to keep him alive? No, not from that burst that Mind Control has. They get the kill. Mind Control does have to be a bit careful with the Fatal Bonds. Especially with GA still tanking some of the damage. He's looking for the Fisher. Does find it, but Seneko on the other side of the Fisher. Momentum Man still able to reach across the, the wall and take him down. The Tumor Man making the moves. So yeah, they're, they're trying to group up with the Viper, yeah. but they're starting to pay a lot around the other lanes. And... Liquid does have a very strong lineup to actually just bring him down with that minus armor uh, yeah. impl implication from the Chaos Knight. Plus Lycan as well. They do do a, a ridiculous amount of physical damage on the side of Liquid with these heroes. And then they have Wyvern for later on. They've got great, yeah, great, de great ways exactly to deal with the way that Na'Vi yeah. want to play. Just Wyvern can yeah. push out the lanes constantly with that Splinter Blast as we see Kuroki uh, emphasizing on getting three points in that. And bottom now, oh. Matu in some trouble here. Does have Andy. a TP. And indeed, yeah, straight up. Oh. Oh. He just cancels it. Okay. He doesn't want to go confidence, base. yeah. <laughs> the rest of his team is rotating down. Dendi is in a world oh. of trouble here. And uh, can he get out of this one? I don't know if he can. Enchant Totem into the Fisher. Miracle closes the gap. They've got good stun. And they do still have the Rift to bring him back into the reaches of Liquid. Mega kill streak for Matsumba Man. 9 minute 50 book one. Complete on the mid Lycan who is versus Viper. Yeah, this is getting pretty, pretty quickly out of control now. There's no doubt about it. 10 minutes in, 3k gold lead for Liquid, 9 to 4. And just everything about their lineup just seemed yes. to be seeming to be that that much smoother. Yeah. And they, they game plan a lot easier. And they've got a lot of answers for, for Na'Vi's game plan, as it seems. Yeah, their movement around the map is just so crisp. Just being able to find all those pickoffs, get the early tower. Na'Vi looks like they will be able to claim this top tower with the Beastmaster having level 7. And General will have book finished up as well at a decent time. GH getting spot out here by Seneca. GH? Well, they actually get the courier snipe here. Mind control finds it. Oh, it's on its way toward top. Seneca and Roger, they should have a good chance to take it down, GH. Got the shadow word. Trying to get his way out of this. He pops the stick charges. Is that going to be enough to save him from the shadow word? Damn it, surely not. No, he does go down, but look who's here. Liquid ready to find the return kills. They bring down Roger. Na'Vi turning up in full force, but it seems to be that Liquid have the greater numbers. They look towards Dendi, bringing him down low. Winter's Curse to hold back one of them as they pick about the side of them. Take down Dendi, looking for Crystallize as well. Nine could actually jumping deep beneath the tower. He, that was really he's deep. definitely paying for that one. I don't know what that jump was. That one was a big that, yeah, that was crazy, but <laughs> what was the plan there, Mind Control? <laughs> He got, he got excited. He did, just a little bit, bless him. Yeah, they didn't have anything else up. Everybody was low on mana, low on health. The, yeah. the shapeshift had ended, and <laughs> the books can't really chase too well without shapeshift. So they lose my control, but they do get Viper again. And Dendi they has, do. after having a pretty good laning start, is 0-3. and three. It's a carry Beastmaster now on the, on the charts, as it seems. Yeah. And Venge trying to catch back up as the max stun build. Since he went for the aggro tri lane, he wanted to have that, but that really reduces the amount of damage that you can do with those right clicks. Because we usually see the 114 build or the 122, yeah. some kind of build along that variance. I mean, it's pretty much a, as we, we sort of thought would happen up top. It was the fact that this aggressive tri lane just didn't really achieve anything that the aggressive tri lane sort of Dyer's set out to do. So it didn't slow down Miracle Swarm and it, it didn't get any kills. It's not really that. You just look at it on paper, it's not a good aggro tri lane. Like Venge, Warlock, Nyx. Nyx is Essen, he's fairly weak in the lane. Warlock as well, you need levels in order to do damage. And they had a pull on the side of Liquid, so they could just always out, uh, out maximize them. But here we go, they look like they're trying to go for into the Roche pit here. I mean, this is one of their strengths with the with the auras that they do have. Yeah. Despite being behind, they can take Roshan down fairly quickly. And as it seems, Liquid, they don't have war coverage around the area. Can Na'Vi get away with this? It would be pretty huge, but look uh -oh. who's on the prowl. Mind control and his illusion. Will he send them into the pit? No. He's not sending it into the pit. They look like they're going to so get this one. They, might ju they may just get away with this, Na'Vi. Even with the level one Vengeance yeah. Aura, the fact that they just have Beastmaster is enough with the book. And this is pr this is pretty huge for this for this lineup, but it's a little bit behind. But getting objectives like that ages into the hands of Crystallize, they just made a, a sweet little play that, that sort of one-ups Liquid. Liquid 
didn't seem to have a clue of that going on. Yeah, they definitely had no idea. Kuroki was sitting behind Miracle Bottom. They thought some gank was coming on, but now Navi, they have their strength. The strength of numbers grouping up, but they have to watch out for the Winter's Curse. Roger does get the stun onto Kuroki. They take a man's time. They swap him back. The Echo Slam comes out with a spike. Carapace was there from Roger. They've lost Kuro, but it returns to Nako goes down. One for one. But to my man ready to fight, so is Miracle. Pops the Phantasm, oh brings in God. Dendi. Triple kill for Matumba Man and Navi. I don't know if they're even getting out of this one. Roger gets put, ripped apart as well. And Crystallize, he's also going to be going down by the looks of it. Mind Control blocks him off. Crystallize trying to desperately do something, but there's nothing he can do at all. 13 minutes in, they get the Rose Sham, but they subsequently get massively team wiped. And the, even the, the Rock is going to chase. Oh, they didn't actually kill the Rock, but. Yep, Matu comes up from the back. They try to ho over commit. Well, they try to commit onto Kill and Kuro because the Winter's Curse versus this Aura lineup is really devastating. But Miracle and Matu just pierce the back lines and absolutely demolish Navi. Level 12 Lycan already at this point in time with that book, too. It just shredded everybody. Oh, that summer man is absolutely loving it. Roger. Let's have eyes onto GH. GH getting all the bounties. Gets both of them. Only 150 gold away from having the Blink Dagger 14 minutes in. This is going to be. And a strong timing for GH. Does get caught out by the stun, and this will put that Blink Dagger on hold if they can finish him off. Mind Control jumps forward, but GH is gone. Sonic Wave comes out onto two. Spike Carapace was there. Now look towards Crystallize. The Shadow Word heal from Seneco, keeping Crystallize alive. Now, no, Kuro gets the burst off, pops down the Winter's Curse. Seneco's hitting into him. Can they keep Crystallize alive? He swaps himself away, tag teaming Dendi into the front lines of the action. Gets the slow on to Kuroki. Roar as well. They're looking to take down the Wyvern, and they will find a beautiful stun from Roger. Gets both of them. But my control, he's still able to blink out, doesn't matter. Dendi gets the double as the Viper Strike Poison ticks him down. And that is exactly what Na'Vi needed to strike back with there. Not only getting GH at the start of it, but finding two kills after, putting GH's Blink Dagger timing on a little bit of a waiting list. And now Roger oh, has Roger's got his own. Wow, Roger with some very clutch stunts coming out. Some really nice stuff. I mean, the, the Spike Carapaces as well, every time. Yeah, he's got the 2-1-4 build. So yeah. that duration of the stun was more than enough to save his buddy. But Liquid, they didn't have their two big ulties up. Sure, they had whatever an ulti. They should, they had they used Sonic Wave, but the two big ones at this moment in time is really is Matu's yep. ulti and the Phantasm. It does seem like, especially from that last engagement. Probably more so Matu. I think that's the biggest one. He's got Book Three finished up already, and that's. I mean, it's it's 15 minutes in, Owen. They spot Roger out here. He is invis though. Always stuck. Do they have another? They don't have further vision though. No. no. Nothing. they using Wolves. They're scouting out Dendi. They do see him down here. Crystallize going to be coming down. Matsu's just trying to commit onto yeah, Dendi he here. He wants to go for the kill straight away. Jump four from Mind Control. Lands down the slow. Matsuma Man just bites into him with the physical, and Dendi is gone. He's going for Crystallize, He certainly is. He's not stopping. There'll be a magic missile He's got the by some time, but indeed, with the purge from the Necro unit slowing down this Vengeful Spirit, Crystallize and Dendi getting picked apart by Matsuma Man on the big bad wolf. Matuma Man 10 0 3, and as you say, 16 minutes in, having incredible farm. I mean, this guy is, this guy's like, is so terrifying. They banned, they prioritized banning him so heavily in this game, too. They banned Lifesteal or Lone Druid in the first two, and he still gets one of his signature. I mean, because as we were saying when the draft, yeah, because of that, you were like, well, maybe Matu's going to be playing the Quap because most of his big stuff's there, but we sort of forgot about it. Navi, I think they certainly forgot about it. Matuma Man's liking getting through and having an absolute cracker of a game so far. Roger scouting out the two supports from the side of Liquid here. The blink, though, from GH, able to distance himself from Roger. And now I believe Liquid will probably take it a little easy, maybe play as a unit, just letting uh, Lycan farm in the meantime till Shapeshift's back up. But Shapeshift only has a 20-second cooldown remaining now, and he's on his way toward an Assault Curse as well. And look at the wolf. Look at the wolf sc uh, scouting. Just standing on top of Navi's heroes in the mid lane, so they know exactly where they're going. Roger. Roger. I'm putting up onto Kuro, but he has to blink away. The team okay. wasn't quite in position to do anything behind him. Mm -hmm. Very deep, aggressive wards coming out from Liquid. They see all of Navi yeah. walking through this at the moment, so they know they have yes. full information. And Matu has priorities. He's going for objectives, pushing out top lane. Gonna go for that tier one top, and they're gonna have all their ultis up now. So they are definitely ready to take a fight. Completed Echo Saber on Miracle as well. Radiance top tower is under it's attack. looking very, very scary for Na'Vi. They have this lineup, Viper, Fenge, Cause, playing from behind and quite 
quite a bit behind as well now. That 6k gold lead that Liquid have at this early stage. Yeah, they've got a very like early game team fighting yeah. lineup and it's it's <laughs> it can't fight versus Liquid by any means at this moment in time. 7k gold lead. Dyer's structures are fortified. And the push coming in from Liquid. Navi very little they can do at these tier twos. I mean, they are going to try for it, but Timberman straight away oh, going for the old. In. GH just gets spotted out. Indeed, they'll turn around with the chaotic offering, but it only holds them back for a couple of seconds. The swap comes in, but look who's there. GH gets the jump straight away with the Fisher out. Dendi will fall. GH does go down in return. Matuma Man looking to continue to chase. He's a little low himself, does have to be careful. Will get himself away. Winter's Curse onto General just to make sure he couldn't do anything to interfere with Matuma Man's escape. And Na'Vi will lose the Beastmaster as well. Three down. I mean, they do bring some of Liquid fairly low. They do get the kill onto GH, but it's still not good enough. It cost them three heroes. Liquid still getting away with absolute murder. Yeah, the Viper isn't able to really get much off because he's just getting jumped on in the fights and getting exploded by everything that Liquid does have, even though he gets swapped. Oh! Back, like, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nice little That's vendetta. one there. The well plates come out. Yeah. They were able to find something off of all that, but yeah, Liquid's sheer aggression. It's, Navi doesn't seem to be reading the map of Liquid's movements whatsoever. They just keep getting these fights in Liquid's advantage. Even though they've got all the ultimates that are used by Navi, it's just not enough to be able to deal with what Liquid's got going on. And you kind of feel for Crystallize as well. Yeah, he's, he had this Mask of Madness, and that since he struggled to get his next item, he had the Shadow Blade queued up, now he's got the BKB queued up. You can tell that this Venge, he's in a position that he just you don't plan to be in, and you're just kind of looking at the game and you're asking yourself, what can I actually buy that allows me to do more? And at the moment, you know, just opt in for the BKB so he can buy a bit of time to at least get his spells off in the fight. But even so, this carry Venge is not going to have much of an impact against Liquid's cause. No, definitely not. When you're playing this carry Venge, you, would, you need to have like an a pretty sizable advantage in the early game in order to actually stay relevant and keep up. But when you're versus Chaos Knight and Lycan, it's actually super hard. You don't match versus these heroes whatsoever. They can just close the gap on you. And I mean, CK doesn't care at all about us. No. Avenge, even late stages, no matter how farmed she is, just eats her alive. How long is Feroche? About 20 seconds till we find out how long it's going to be till it spawns. And Liquid's taking, looking to go. They've got Book popped on Matu. He's got Shapeshift ready. And li the rest of Liquid smoked behind him, trying to look for an engagement. Gonna bring this tower down so quickly. And it hits nighttime, so. Radiance middle tower has fallen. There's not really much stopping from Liquid going for more if they want to at this stage. Shapeshift has popped. Yeah, he's Mati gonna keep pushing in. Siege. Looking to draw their attention towards the mid, and as you say, Liquid very much ready to jump in with the play if Na'Vi do try and kick off something. They forced everybody back. As soon as they see that, they go start pushing out the other lanes. Damage is done, they got half of it. Half of the, more than half of the tower. Oh, now. the double dust. Roger gets the blink off in time though. Liquid, they dropped a sentry, they dropped two dust. Can they actually catch him? Or oh, he's actually gonna come back and show himself. Goes Navi for the smoked. stun. They're coming in. They want to try and fight this. They're leading in straight away. Kuro on the front line starts to get the Arctic Burnout. Pops the Winter's Curse to hold down Crystallize. GH has got the slam ready. He's gonna look for the opportune time to jump in. In fact, doesn't look like he actually wants to. He's holding back. Sonic Wave not enough to finish off Crystallize. The Mind Control blinks in. Is able to finish him off. They've lost their core. They've lost their carry Navi, and they may lose more. GH still with the Echo. Here has the blink. Jumps for it. Just drops it. Doesn't get a lot of targets. In fact, good turnaround stun from Roger. Catches out two of them. They have the Chaotic Offering as well. They're bringing Liquid down low. They get the kill onto GH. Mind Control blinks away. Miracle's turned up to the fight now, though, and he has Phantasm. Brings in Dendi. Matumba Man somehow still being the one to get hit. these last hits on the kills. It's 12 and 0. And despite, you know, you could see how much Na'Vi wanted to come back in on that one, and sure, they bring down GH, but it cost them their big ultimates. They're not killing the cause of Liquid. The Rock doesn't seem to be doing much of anything versus Liquid either at the moment. It's like a little bit of a mini stun, but that's just about it. Roger scouting out, giving some information, but look who's in. Matu, looking for General. He kills a book, extra gold for Kuroki. And that's a full AC finished. 22 minute, book three, AC on Lycan. That's got to be some of the fastest timing on a Lycan we've seen in a while. It's 12,000 yeah. net worth at 22 minutes. 600 GPM on a mid Lycan versus a Viper. Well, 534, but yeah, whatever. It's almost 600. 
So there's some crazy, crazy timings for that. Yes! Think. As it has been. Now the very little to do against this. Roger. Trying to give some as much scouting information as possible. And, and out of the team, I've been pretty impressed with the way Roger's been playing this game. All right. You know, he's he's been getting some nice stuns off, doing some good stuff from behind, and they're doing it again, Fog. They're trying to go for it here. It worked last Horus, time. But this time, Liquid oh, knows it's up. They do indeed, but Roger's got the eyes on them. Na'Vi they will know it's they know coming he's in. There, They've got the sentry on the high ground there. They did see Roger for a moment. They're trying to walk into the pit, though. I mean, they're not dying fast enough. Yeah, they're, they're still trying to commit to this, but this it's only a half health. It's still going to take a bit of time. The upheaval and the nether toxing are it's, zoning out Liquid. Uh, apparently so, yeah. Liquid are feeling scared of going in, and Na'Vi, they get away with it, but they may lose lives here. The Fisher comes out onto two. General going straight away onto the side of it all with the axes onto GH. Here's Dendi looking at GH, forces forward, but they're already Na'Vi. They've lost the Beastmaster. Matuma Man focusing Dendi. Dendi swallows the cheese. They do bring down GH. Aegis has been popped. Liquid being forced back. Dendi ready to try and continue the chase with Crystallize. Roger's coming in from the sidelines. He's going to look for the perfect stun. He may just find it. No, Phantasm from Miracle comes out. The BKB's there as well. Looks towards Crystallize. Swaps himself away, but the stun flies through. Miracle turns his attention towards the one. Oh then the God. two. Double kill for Miracle. And maybe even more. He chases Crystallize, trying to desperately hide in the tree lines. The wall's leading forward. Looking for the vision. Miracle can't quite get the rift off. A little too far, a little too speedy with that mask, and Crystallize will survive, but the rest of Na'Vi fall, and again, they do get this Roshan, but it cost them ever so heavily, and it really seems that's, that's the only thing Na'Vi can do this game. Get Rosh. Everything else is a bit of a different story. Yeah, Chaotic Offering was still on cooldown, their big teamfight ultimate, and Liquid just with that advantage that they've got at the moment, just easily able to run them over. As soon as the as soon as CK pops Phantasm BKB, they all are just like, oh my god, <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Radiance top oh boy, shrine. he's also gotten. I think Miracle's gotten the extra bonus illusion proc every time. Sure, it's 50%, so it's oh. pretty high. But mid lane. Oh, they do find the raw, but Fish is there for GH, and Matuma oh. Man just turns with the minions. Crystallizer's gone. <laughs> all right. A very tricky kill to get, Roger. Looking for some harassment onto GH. They do bring Dendi in. The initial slow off, but they, they've got to be careful how long they chase GH, especially with the rest of the team in the nearby. Dendi and Roger, they've got to be careful how they poke at this. Dendi's going to get turned upon. The Fisher, the jump in. Miracle's there with the rift back, and Dendi's gone. Sonic Wave out onto two. Liquid, they're going to try and chase for Roger as well. A second rift brings him back. They wait out the spike carapace. Looking to juke the stuns. Great stun and blink, though, from Roger. We'll get him onto the high ground. Makuro's there, ready and waiting with the chase. He's got the shrine heal. Can Roger actually play his way out of this one? I don't think he can. Spike Carapace will hold Mind Control back. And Mind Control's almost going to certainly want to chase. I, I, oh, he, get, he gets out. Nicely done. I can't believe he escapes that one, Roger. Small little win, yeah? I mean, well, not a win. They kill GH, but they lose Dendi. But win for, win for Roger. I sure said, Roger he's did. been playing his heart. Roger's been doing a great job. He's, uh, he actually has been. Certainly been the flashiest out of Na'Vi this lineup in, yep. this, uh, in this game. Some uh, great Nexus has in place. Just getting so much information. And not dying that much at all. 449 in a situation when your team's down 15 to 29, 26 minutes in. I think you're pretty happy as this support Nix Assassin. For yourself, at least, you may have sort of different feelings towards the rest of your team as it's not going great for now. No, definitely not. And I mean, he's playing this Nix Assassin versus a, what was it, like a 13 minute book three or 14 minute yeah, book three. So yeah. it does make it a lot harder. And it's a, it's a group up liner from Liquid. So it's, it does make that game a lot harder for the Nix Assassin. And bottom GH blinks away. General does have Blink Dagger. He has Necro Book and Roar. A little bit low on the mana. Roger. But. Looking for a lead in. Cold Embrace will be there. They get the Roar onto Kuroki, trying to focus down the Wyvern first. They drop down the Chaotic Offering, but Miracle's there with the BKP and the Phantasm. Looking towards Crystallize. Crystallize gets himself out of range, but the Warlord's not going to be as lucky. Picked apart. Crystallize still gets dragged in by the grips of Lickroyd. They've got the Fisher block off on Dendi. Dendi down as well. Roger. The only one to escape with his life intact. They've lost four Na'Vi. They might just call it in a second. They do all have buybacks. I mean, if it's the Na'Vi we know and love, they will fight till the end. But it's looking to be quite a grim one. Mind control's low. He's got Lincoln Sphere, though, so he can block the mana burn. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh. And he pops Dust. He expects Roger to be there. Oh. Oh. Roger, Roger. with a quick blink. He's toying with him. He's being chased. Oh, he's going to miss the stun, though. That should cost him his life. He's got Spike Carapace up again. Mind Control's trying to wait it out. Sort of play with it. Roger. 
Can he actually Shadow live it? Yeah, he's oh Shadow no, he's down. They do find it. Mid lane gets cleaned up. Yeah, Matsu just eat the racks already. But again, these are those sort of plays. You're drawing away the full force of liquid away from the base. Sure, you still lose a lose your mid racks, but maybe the damage to the base would have been higher. You know, if uh, if uh, if Roger wasn't pulling him away like that. Oh yeah, maybe. But now it's a it's a full heart on uh, on Matu. It's about to be a full heart on Miracle as well. So it's it's looking pretty done here. 20k gold lead <laughs> with a CK. 21k. 20, oh, 21. oh, I see 20. It just ticked it up just, 21. It just 21k <laughs> experience lead, though, as well. 21k. And now, yeah, Reality Rift Pierce Spell Immune. Does anyone even have BKB on the side yeah, of... No. On, on the side <laughs> Not of yet. <laughs> Crystallize almost does. So he almost does. Miracle's preparing for the future. Yes. Crystallize is going to see that, and he's going to sell his parts of the BKB. He says, what's the point? <laughs> we need that Rapier now. Rapier Vengeful Spray. I've never seen it before in my life. Don't know if it, that would even do anything. <laughs> Un Probably not. <laughs> Unfortunately. Dandy's now going to queue up a blade mail. Radiance Just trying to return some of that damage. But dude, back. couldn't that be the strat though? You buy six rapiers, then you die, and then your aura just kills whoever killed you. Dude, that's so much gold. Six rapiers? That's more <laughs> gold than they have across their entire team already. In this whole season of Dota. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of money. Everyone on the side of Liquid. Well, the bit three cores hitting their level 20 marks, getting those big talents, as we saw being pointed out. By our Radiant's lovely observer. Matsu attack. now working toward bottom with the arcane rune as well, so straight value here, popping the necro book. He chose the, uh, he also, if you notice, he picked the 16% feral impulse damage over the shapeshift duration. And oh, oh boy. Here we go, party time for the boys. Sunny Wave on two, Crystallize, he's down, but does have buyback available? The rest of Navi getting back, but General brought in, gets the force off, dropping down the chaotic offering. Miracle's BKB is now worn off. They're turning towards the Chaos Knight. He's having to back away. Miracle will still be able to pick up the Warlock with the Illusions. Jump forward. Good stuff from Roger. Holds back the two of them, but they're looking towards Crystallize. Crystallize brought back for this. He's down. GG is called. It's finally all over. Liquid take the win 30 minutes in. And quite a win indeed. Na'Vi, they did indeed fight to the bitter end. But ever since the lanes, it looked like it was pretty much done and dusted. Liquid taking the easy walk to victory as it seems with that game. Like, oh my god, Matu is an absolute monster. Every single one of these it's... games, he's been he's been that rock. I said it yesterday as well. Him and his life stealer, when they were struggling a bit, he was still seven and zero in the game at the, in the early game. This game, even though he's in a hard matchup, as soon as he pops one shape shift, he gets like four kills. Yeah. This team is absolutely I mean, terrifying. I think maybe in the draft you just you don't don't bother banning Matsu, man, because he's he's gonna get it. If, he's gonna if get you something. prioritize banning his heroes and he still gets real like and has a game like this, you kind of gotta ask yourself whether you should just look at other elements of the team because yeah, Matsu seems to be on the ball today. What a game for Liquid! A very easy win for them. We'll see if Navi can give them a bit more of a challenge in game two. They probably will shy away from the this sort of vengeful uh, core strat as uh, as we're seeing as. If it doesn't kick it off at the start, it's pretty much GG. Yeah, you need to snowball out of control with this lineup from Navi. So, we'll see what happens. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to cut to a short outbreak. We'll be back for game two between Team Liquid and Navi. We'll see you then.